cutlery. I thought I'd got the hang of it. That is, until I tried to learn how to play the spoons. Now, I don't know anything about the spoons or how to play them, but luckily I know a man who does. Tim. Hello. You're a, <laughs> you're a rare thing on this channel, an actual musician. <laughs> Tim plays with the band, Banter, um, links in the description below. But today, Tim is here to show us some spoons. Well, spoons are things that you eat with. Um, and it, <laughs> nothing more complicated than that, but... but... They're amazing percussion instruments. Impressive. No, these are just uh, what you find in your kitchen drawer. I mean, I, I, use, I tend to use soup spoons, but I've seen people using teaspoons, coffee spoons, nice deep bowl soup spoon. Um, and they all sound completely different as well. So I mean, these ones are these ones are some vintage um, ones, some uh, electroplated silver ones. I've got another set here, which uh, these are well loved because they're very, <laughs> very, very dented on the, on, the, on the backs of the bowls. But these ones are more pingy, yeah. completely different sound. So I guess you can play them in. Like you can play them in, de instrument. definitely, definitely. But they are just normal spoons. Um, the thing that I look for, though, is where, is where on the tail of the spoon, where it's comfortable in the hand, because some they're all different shapes and things. So any of those where you've got like a sort of straight stem on it with a square end, the sharp bits getting the, uh, into your hand. So something with a taper. Something. Is that better to yeah, break something it? with a taper, and also, also because we'll, we'll get more onto this later on. But um, when the spoons are back to back, because of how you play them with a finger in between. Um, if the angle on the sort of bowl of the spoon to the neck of the spoon is a little bit sharp or shallow, then uh, it's it's not easy to uh, to not as easy to play them. Getting the grip right to start with, because all you're doing is hitting it between two surfaces. So the first spoon you take in your dominant hand, which are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Right. Okay. So hold it as if you're doing the egg and spoon race. As if you are going to uh, put an egg in there, but once it once it's there, uh, you notice that you've got one finger hooked underneath, and your thumb is placed on top of the shaft, going along the shaft, pointing towards the bowl. Yeah, okay. yeah. So now, if you let go with all of your other fingers except your first finger and your thumb, okay, you've still got that fairly fairly firm, and the tail is is just touching that pad on your thumb. In the, in the palm of your hand. So now the second spoon. The second spoon goes the opposite way around, so the bowl to bowl, from the, yeah? Yeah, yeah. and then you place it the other side of that forefinger, so that the two tails of the spoons are touching, and then you grasp your other three fingers in there to hold that other spoon in place. And what we're looking for when you're playing the spoons is to maintain a little gap in between the spoons um, of, um, anything from about uh, uh, half a centimetre to a centimetre or up to, you know, an um, eighth of an inch up to uh, half an inch. You want to be able to keep that nice and firm so that if you waft your hands about, nothing happens. Nothing. And they're not slipping sideways and they're not sort of coming closer together or further apart. Okay. Okay. This instantly feels like it's going to be more complicated than it initially looked. No, 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 no. <laughs> right. So once you've got the grip, once you've got the grip, you can adjust how far apart they are by just sliding that finger in and out. Oh. But don't worry about too much about that at the moment. Just get a good grip and keep them nice and stable. And then bang it against your leg. Okay. So that's the first one. And if you can get a good rhythm going. And the test now is have they moved? Not a really. Bit. A little a bit. bit, but yeah, but it's it's pretty uh pretty stable. Okay, okay, right. Now, most of spoons playing is is going between two surfaces. So if you put your spare hand above your leg uh, with about uh, about 15 centimetres, six inches between the two, okay, you put the spoons between and then you're gonna go down up onto your leg. That's 
good. Great. Brilliant. There you go. Just give a shout out to my dog who is sitting <laughs> down here and being very, very quiet and nonchalant. Yes. yes. <laughs> so then. Uh, the rest of it is about sort of musicality and fitting in with whatever music that you're playing. So, oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, then he marched them down again. So you can you can miss certain beats, yeah? Or, um, Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, Humpty Dumpty had a good ball. Okay, so... Okay. So you, it's it's about da -da -dee 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 -dee, just being musical and either keeping a steady beat. Um, uh, and all I'm doing is there is. Da -da 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 and missing every other upward one. So you're doing sort of a double double leg. Yeah. Something quite horse-like about yeah. this, isn't there? Once you figure out that you can you can play between any two surfaces, then a, a lot of the rest of it is all about flashing shape. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, you can play against against your elbow, against your forearm, against your hand, against your fingertips, against the back of your hand, against the side of your hand, um, between your legs, um, between. Uh, oh, I've got a loose shirt on, but between your, you know. <laughs> uh, so, you put that all together. So it, you get your whole body involved and you, you move around loads. Every, every single gig, so um, uh, there's, there's one that I sing, it's the, On the quarter deck, walking about, there you see the second page, so steady and so stout. What he is thinking of, he barely knows himself. We're wishing that he'd hurry up and strike, strike the bell. So, as I didn't push, know I was getting a concert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the rest of the band joins in as well. The trill or the roll. Uh, okay, so you've got your grip there. So let's just check that out again. That's good, right. Now, I want you to spread your fingers out as wide as you can and keep it really, really firm. Okay, and put it above your leg, yeah? Because yep. so, you're gonna play down and onto your legs, so. Okay. okay, so what we do is we go. Yes, that's it. And what's happening is it's, it's bouncing off it's each finger bouncing. as it goes down. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so if you can play that side of your hand, you can play the other side. I wouldn't say I could play this side of your hand. <laughs> yes, you can. You are. Well, you are. That's, that's brilliant. Yeah. Mm. Good stuff. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And then you find that you can do on your knuckles. Of course you can. It, that, that one there, so not, not that one. Not that one. That. Not that one. Or the other way of doing it is, which is actually playing the, the little ripples on the inside of your fingers. Okay. But you need to do that with the spoon, twist it round a little bit as you go down to the inside of your hand. So if you put your hand like that, so your fingers are pointing downwards, and then you're gonna play around the inside of your hand. Yes, yes. <laughs> but that one's really good because you can incorporate that really easily into it. So if you're already a percussionist, then you've got crossover talents. It's just finding your it's rhythm. It's just finding your rhythm and finding stuff. Once you've stuff. got the grip. <laughs> yeah, once you've got the grip, everything else is just uh, hitting it against two surfaces. Yes, perfect roll. Yeah. You spoke too soon. 
English folk music has quite a bit of this in, and uh, Cajun stuff as well. Uh, Appalachian, uh, American American Appalachian music. Um, even played it with uh, some uh, some Quebecois, the French Canadian. That and normally that would be a foot percussion on on the foot percussion, but it fits really well on the uh, on the spoons as well. Irish music as well. That's what I associate. Yeah, with Irish. So the um, so you got um, in folk music, in folk dance music. There's there's a couple of main rhythms. Um, one is a reel, which is uh, a very quite a square sounding. <laughs> That sort of sort of um, rhythm, um, and then the other one, is, if you've got some musical background, six eight rhythm, um, which is da 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 so you on a the one and the three are the main beats. Da 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 but each one split up into a into a triplet. Da 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 You can hit it harder for a start. Or you can, with the spoons, the other thing that you've got is you've got these two little resonant pockets here. So if you catch it right with a bit of practice, if you play it against the side of your, again, with the whole of the cup, it's quite, quite a thump, isn't it? It is quite a thump, so it gives you a bit more emphasis. So I'm playing, I'm playing there. And then for the other beats, bringing the spoon so that it's just the tip of the spoon in contact with the leg. Hear the difference? Yeah, yes. exactly like that. So. One of the things I love as a as a percussionist is um, any any instrument that I'm playing, whether it's a drum or a triangle or a, a pair of spoons, is finding out how many how many different sounds you can get out of it as well. Uh, you can, uh, with a bit of practice, deliberately splay the spoons as well. That's just happening That's, for me, whether I want it yeah, to or not yeah, yeah. at the minute. Um, Doing it deliberately takes a bit. It becomes much lighter sound. I've seen it so that people have got a piece of something in between there with a with something keeping the um, keeping the tails together as well. So if you're a little bit a little bit wobbly on the on the unsure of keeping the, yeah. the grip then you can help. use can find a pair of spoons that you like and put a wedge in the middle and uh, and just tape round or, or put a, a bungee or a, a elastic band around the tails and that will keep your space for you so that you can practice on your rhythms without worrying and, and, all, and all you have to do is just grab hold of them instead of having to um, yeah that's a that's a great starter tip yeah that's a top tip top top tip well, my only bit of advice is if you're going along to a session, um, just be respectful of the other musicians. So um, it's quite loud, isn't it? It is quite loud, it is quite piercing, and if you've already got two or three other people in the room playing spoons or playing uh, you know, triangles or loud, uh, loud percussive instruments, then it's going to get a bit wearing on everybody's ears if you are thrashing away and making a, making a large noise. If you can't hear what else is going on, you're playing too loud. As far as um, different ways to play them, I mean, yeah, I've seen other people playing them in, in 
in different ways. This is just how my style has evolved. Um, and as with everything, we all evolve our style based on the people that we come across. Because with something like this, you're going to find your own little your own little ways. You're going to find your ways. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and this is just the way that I've I've developed my way of playing them. Um, and uh, I don't I don't profess to be the best or the most most knowledgeable or the most experienced or expert. It's just how I do it. And there's no wrong with that, is there? <laughs> <laughs> if we want more from you, and why wouldn't we? Where can we find you? You're uh, in Ibiza. You were uh, mentioning. Yeah, uh, I'm going to be playing with Banter in in Ibiza at a big folk festival over there. Uh, got a whole string of folk festivals over the summer of 2022 Portugal as well. Portugal well. later Portugal. in the year. Yeah, uh, some incredible stuff coming up for us. Portugal and uh, uh, website is uh, all the W's Banter dot band. Um, You've got a couple of YouTube channels as well, haven't you? Yes. Uh, fan channel and a couple of yours. I will drop those links down in the description below, so check those out. And Tim also presents, presents Tim Walker's folk radio show every single week on BBC Radio Lincolnshire. But no matter where you are in the world, you can get hold of it and I will drop the website link. You know where. You can't see this, but at my feet there is a big suitcase full of various instruments. So <laughs> if I can tempt Tim back to uh, show us some more one day, Anytime. if you would like him to, then do let us know in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm off to practice the spoons and I'm going to make a video of me practicing the spoons over the course of the next week or two. So if you want I'll, to drop I'll back in <laughs> and see my progress or lack of, um, then yeah, I'll let you know when I post as always. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I make a video every single week, usually about learning to play the recorder, but also about this sort of stuff too. <laughs> <laughs>